San Antonio. Welcome to our very, very, very first Christmas episode of Don't Trip on Our Mushrooms. I am the Hollaback Girl, Harley Quinn, and to my left is the Adder Mad Hatter, Deke Rivers. Say hello. Hello. And today we have a very, 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 very special show. We're going to talk about Christmas and Santa Claus. With lots of fun and lots of goodies for y'all. Yes. And... We're gonna we're gonna say happy holidays to everybody, and then we are going to have a very 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 special reading of the night before Christmas. So it's a tradition in our house to read it. Another tradition and that we have, speaking of traditions, is we always let one each other open one gift on Christmas Eve. I don't know who else does that, but that's just us. Well, we we started a new tradition this uh, last year. And I let it happen this year, whereas where we opened all of our presents already today. And then tomorrow we get to have Christmas dinner and get to do all that kind of stuff and everything like that, which I'm so excited about. And I love that. It seems like this year went by so fast. It did. It I did. cannot believe how fast it went by and that it's almost over and we're one step closer to Nashville. And I cannot wait until we get to Nashville. And by this time next year, I want us to be chilling in our brand new pad in Nashville. You know, sitting outside, watching the fireworks, sitting in the snow, making snow angels. Seeing all the wild horses running by. Seeing the wild horses run by, driving past the elephant sanctuary. Um, I think it's in Nashville. I'm not sure. I have to look that up. But that's what I want to be doing next year. And, um... I don't know if we're going to, I don't know, do you want to do a New Year's episode, do you think? Or? Yeah, we should, and also, you know, uh, speaking of getting closer to stuff, we're also getting closer to the de- deadline of the Winter Dance Party. That and That's coming up in February, and then uh, April is going to be big, big, uh, the, we'll, we'll be celebrating Eddie Cochran. And, and then, in August, if uh, join me on my channel where I will be giving... A special tribute to Elvis Presley. Yes. Oh, we can do that on January the 9th as well, his birthday. Eighth. 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 Sorry. The eighth. And then, what else do you want to do? Oh, I want to talk 25th, about... February 25th, also join me for, March, for a celebration. March 31st, we're also going to have a celebration for Selena. Yeah, and join me on February 25th for the late great Beatle George Harrison's birthday celebration. <laughs> Yeah, it's it already started the Winter Dance Party. Yeah. Buddy Holly be in Michigan tonight. Mm-hmm. He would have been in Michigan. In Detroit, Michigan. That's right. Mm-hmm. In Detroit or just anywhere in Michigan? I think it was Detroit, Michigan. All right. Well, anyways, so far we're off to a good start. Did you do anything fun today? I uh, just watched little dude Buddy open his presents and been watching Lucy all, all day. And she's she's been really funny today. She Right now... For, or for those of you who have, may have seen the episode, I'm probably not giving, killing too much. But she's got a whole purse full of, full of sugar cubes because she's fitting to meet John F. Kennedy. Mm. I know they don't actually show him on camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And he whistles. So, what did Buddy Cash get you for your for for uh, Christmas? He got me some. Axe stuff from that Axe company, the body lotions and stuff. Yeah. He also got me some n- nice new shirts in my favorite colors. Yes. Blue, red, gray, and black. Yes. And and they fit nice, by the way, and they got pocket for your smokes and all your dirty deeds. Yeah, and it hides my movies. <laughs> <laughs> and your movies, which is some, that was a new word that we invented last week. It goes with mitts. <laughs> it also it also is good for mitts and merce. We can we can do that. And bros. <laughs> and, and bros, yes. And Roz, that's another name for a bro. <laughs> yeah, I put the hat away for him. Um, but he got lots of great stuff in his stockings. He got candy and bubble gum and chocolate. And he got tell, some- tell everybody what he told you about next year. Oh, next year, he is like, uh, Mommy, when's Christmas again? I said, it'll be next year, next December. And he's like, I hope you get me something good. So, um... Uh, I just With want you to said, know ahead of time, next year Christmas will be canceled. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, he's going to get some dog food and a hammer. <laughs> That's how I roll. 
uh, we'll be like, we'll figure that out. But um, actually, Christmas is not just about presents and getting stuff or whatever, but Christmas is also about family and to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus and all that kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure that you already know it, so I'm and not going to be start... with your families. Yeah, so I'm not going to quote the Bible or get all religious on you or anything like that. But I just wanted to also say that because, you know, be like, you did a Christmas special and you didn't even say what it's about. Can you hand me that green remote control? Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to do a shout out to Bunny Graveyard Girl Myers. I heard she's here in San Antonio tonight. Oh, she is? She's in San Antonio. Did in you San see Antonio. the picture that she posted on her um, oh, crap. Insta- did you see the picture she posted on the Instagram of the Alamo? And yeah. on the captioning, she's like, uh, I'm looking for my bike in the basement. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, that, that's why she posted that, because she's right here in San Antonio tonight. Well, shout out to Bunny Myers, Graveyard Girl. What? Yes, we love you, and we love Dog Man, and, and we, I especially love it when you call him Honey Dog, because I think that's just so cute. I know, she wanted the children, she wanted the children, her little baby. I I was watching her channel, and she got, oh, I can't even talk about it. I can't, because yeah, it's, it's sick. No, don't mention it, no. It was, I was like, no. I see, and Buddy's, Buddy's playing with his bubbles. I got him a bubble set, and now he's going crazy. Yeah, Buddy got chocolate on his shirt, so what a... But Buddy got some nice things. He got a spy set, and he got a big helicopter, and he got clothes. He got some new jammies. Well, and hopefully he got ne- next year, when, once we start, go, once we're in Nashville, and we start our careers of comedy slash music, uh, we'll, he'll probably have a better Christmas. There's just one thing. Where are we gonna put the pony? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll bu- we'll build a barn for some bitch. I know, poor little pony. I know. Well, I was just kidding about the pony. We're not getting ponies until we can afford a, someone to someone to come out and take care of them. Unless you use it for an axe, because I can do an over a Rogers act if I need to. No, I don't want you to be making him no circus clown and jumping through hoops. Because you know I'm gonna figure out a way to open up the house and let the let the pony come inside. You know I will. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, he's got his own bed over there. He just sleeps. Hey, I'm triggered. Hey, I'm triggered stuff with Roy Rogers and a lot of his movies. I will figure out a way for that to happen. I am not even kidding. And that is not a joke, people. NT Wizzles, uh, how was your game? I was fabulous, by the way, running down the elevator. On the riding the elevator. I was like, woo! Yeah, it's coming along really good. I'm playing Arkham Asylum again because I can't figure out in Arkham City how to control a damn Batarang. And also, on the 2K15 video game, I don't know if anybody has done this yet, but I already unlocked Hulk Hogan, Paige, and who else? And the WCW roster. Oh, interesting. Nope. Well, um, anyways, tell me what you were telling me about your stupid, uh, the... Uh, the croc and uh, the latest with the UFC CM dork or whatever. CM dipshit. Yeah. Uh, same old bullshit as usual. He's, you know, he, I, I don't even want to talk about that man. I'm, that man disgusts me like Daniel Bryan does. I don't know how you all look. I'm gonna say this because I know, I know a lot of people in my channel are like, Deke, you're a wrestling fan. Do you like Daniel Bryan? No, I don't. I can't stand him. I'm sorry. He's like CM Punk. I can't stand that motherfucker either. Yeah. For for those of you who cheer for him, that's on y'all because I don't know how you can like that man. Lady. He's gross. He's disgusting. And all that hair. No, it makes it look like he's a hobo. No, I can't do that. No. Anyway. Anyway. To make a long story short. You know what I think we need? I think Jack White needs to record a Christmas album. That'd be awesome. I'd actually like to hear that. That'd be awesome. I would like to hear that too. I would actually. And I, also, I, I would pay. I would pay money to freaking hear that. And I also. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And what I was gonna say about the rock. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And what awesome. I was gonna say uh, say about Dwayne the Croc Johnson. That's what I call him because he's full. He, he ain't nothing but a crock of shit. He yeah. really is. Yeah. Okay, he's doing some show where he's pretending to be all sentimental. And he's doing a show for for this kid that I I don't I really didn't hear the story but the kids think like um 
got no parents or whatever, and he's struggling, and The Rock is going to help him out with some, some bullshit or another. I'm like, quit being charitable, motherfucker, because we know you're not. You're fucking Puerto Rican ass. You're Puerto Rican ass freaking tri trying to be all freaking sentimental. Motherfucker, you Puerto Rican, you don't give a fuck about nobody. And let me, the and only let me... time you see you see the people is when you look down and see what you're stepping on. People's champion my ass. And and let me just say something else, and I know that's going to offend you or whatever, but let me see the paycheck and how... Let me see the paycheck for the show that... that, that, that it ain't going to offend me. You can say what you want about the rock, because oh. I can't stand his ass either. Okay. Well, let me see the paycheck because I don't believe for one second that people actually really do stuff nice for the people, especially the Kardashians. I'm like, let me see how much they paid you or they right. contributed to something that you did or whatever because I don't, for a second, I don't believe that. I want to know how much money they put in your freaking pocketbook or exactly. whatever because I just, I just had to say that. And, and the only people that I do believe actually do charitable work are people that are not that big. For example, um, Jack White does charitable, like... My Chemical not, Romance. And, and it's not like, oh, I'm going to make a check or whatever to this. No, he actually, at Third Man Records in Nashville, he'll have, like, food drives and turkey drives and... But see, that that's good because I can see where he's coming from. I would do the exact same thing. I know, that's what I'm saying. And then they had a blood drive and they gave people gifts, uh, you know, whatever, so they could donate to the um, the Red Cross and the Blood and Tissue Center. Those are the things that I'm talking about. But when, when a celebrity, especially someone who is well-known like that, don't give me that shit. I don't buy that for a second. But... Look, Figaro's outside. Oh, that's his shit, because I'm not going to get him. Look, he's outside. Anyways, Excuse me, y'all. I have to go get my cat. Deep Rivers is going to go get the cat really quick, and he's going to kill him. So if you hear us screaming and yelling here, and it, buddy, scoot over. So I'm just going to talk and talk about stuff really quick amongst us. And we're having testicle difficulties, so I'm just going to rant. And rave until he goes and gets the stupid cat because, I don't know, the door's supposed to be closed in my room anyways. Anyways, so I was thinking about uh, lots of things this week. We did lots of things, but I literally went early this morning and got all of the Christmas presents for Buddy. And I only had a certain amount of money, but I think I got a lot of stuff. I'm just saying. I mean, no, it's not like we had a really big quest Christmas or anything, and I personally didn't get anything, and Jenny personally didn't get anything, but I'm just happy that Buddy and Deke got stuff, and that's what Christmas is all about. And what else? Okay. There was something else. Oh, he's back! Oh my god, it took forever! I was like, I didn't know what I was going to do without you! Because I'm over here ranting and raving, people's like, oh, great. She's just talking to herself again. Hurry up, put your mic back on. Get your feet out of it. Anyway, sorry, y'all. I'm back. Okay. So, what were we talking about before we left? Did you close the Jack door? Jack White, on? yeah. Okay, Jack White. Um, Yeah, Jack White's char charitable work. Like, to me, that that goes to show charitable work. He, he lets, during the summer... When, when kids are not in school, he actually opens up Third Man Records and they feed the children of their community there. We just saw this one. Anyways, he opens he opens the doors of Third Man Records and, and they have a summer feeding program or whatever. And then they throw Halloween parties, all kinds of parties. I'm just saying, those are the kind of people I want to get into bed with. I'm just saying. You know, and that is when I actually believe in charity work. But, like, all this shit where, like, a Kardashian shows up at a hospital to help sick kids? No, I don't think so. And she goes there dressed in fucking Chanel and high heels looking like a damn stripper. I'm like, bitch, please. I'm like, I just want to see how much money they paid you. I want to see how many servers were at the end of that check. Okay, but let me just say this, okay? I was telling my mom yesterday, and I was telling Harley yesterday, that when I start doing my music, I want to do... I want to do shows, even if it's for kids. I don't care. Like I, I will go. I will go anywhere, and I will perform shows if it's for little kids. Like for, between the ages of like three to twelve, I'll do free shows. I know, and that's and I mean, yeah, you'll take a hit money wise, but 
You'll make that up in spades, making business and networking contacts and stuff like that. And that's how you get your name out there. So I'm like, you know, whatever. But anyways, enough about charitable work because we're talking about Christmas. Excuse me. Um, what else do you want to talk about before um, we get on to our little reading here? Well, I, I pretty much said what I wanted to say, but I do want to say again to everybody, I hope you all having a very happy holiday season, and I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful and awesome new year, because I know I'm going to. Um, what else? And, and for those of you who drink, don't get too drunk, and for those of you who don't drink and don't do drugs, don't get too high and don't get too drunk. Yeah. Oh, why don't we tell everybody what our favorite Christmas song is? Okay. And what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, I have to say, I'm... My like favorite the, Christmas like song... Like the end-all, be-all, your favorite Christmas song, like... That you, has to be from my favorite band, Hanson, Run Rudolph Run. That is, like, my end-all, be-all of all Christmas choice. songs. I got it on my phone. My favorite... Favorite Christmas song is All I Want for Christmas, Mariah Carey. I'm just saying. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, and I also have another one. And this one, it's because Drake Bell mentioned it. And since I'm a Drake Bell fan, I heard this song, and I loved it. And it's from Bing Crosby, and it's called Marshmallow World. What about you, Jenny? What's your favorite Christmas song? Good choice. Blue Christmas. And, uh, hold on. I'm replying to a tweet, by the way. So You're a tweeter! Have- <laughs> Jenny, I told you not to eat all that sugar when you were pregnant with her. She's a tweeter! Anyways, uh, hold on. I'm, ret- I'm replying to the tweet really quick. For everyone. No, it's actually um, somebody... I, uh, I favorited a video and liked it and tweeted it. The, the Jackie Beat song, Santa's Baby. I can't play it right now because it's kind of dirty, but if you're on my personal Facebook page, I guarantee you've seen it, so whatever. But NT Wizzles, we have like 12 minutes left, and I think it's time to start with our story. I do believe you're right. Okay, so we are going to read The Night Before Christmas. This is a tradition in our house. It's been a tradition for as long as I've been alive, and I'm 28 now, and now I'm sharing it with my son, and whatever. So, um, when my son was born, I got him the little golden book version of The Night Before Christmas, because when I was born, I got the um, little golden book version of The Night Before Christmas. And we've read it every Christmas and since we were And we've read kids. that one every Christmas since... We were born anyways, but the little golden book that we have from when we were kids has totally different pictures and cover on it that I love. And when we get to Nashville, I'm literally going to go see an art, someone who deals in art and lithographs and see if they can get the pictures from the book and make them into art so I can put them everywhere because I just love them. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to read the little golden books the night before Christmas. Are you ready, buddy Cash? Are you ready? I'm ready. Deep Rivers, Jenny, are you ready? ready. All right, children. Yeah, I'll say we are. Yeah, let's read it now. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house. <clears throat> not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The dirty rat. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Yay! The children were nestled, all snugged in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Dance, dance, dance. Sugar plums, yes, sugar yes. Plums, sugar plums. Dance, dance, dance. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. <sighs> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of midday to the objects below. Wow, this is getting deep, man. This is getting deep over here. When what do my wondering eye should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courser, as they came, 
and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. I love this story so much. Me too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. Ah. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. In a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and, and giving a nod at the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave whistle, and away they all flew like the down of the thistle. Okay, you ready? Because we have to say this last part yeah. all together, okay? But I, I heard him exclaim as, as he drove, drove out of sight... sight. Merry Happy Christmas, Christmas to all, and to all a good, good night. night. Woo! Yay! That was our reading of the night before Christmas, our favorite book. Better than Elf on a Shelf, if I do say so myself. And that was awesome. And we have seven minutes left. So I just want to say, do you, do you want to say stuff? Before yeah, I'm going to give a show. positive Christmas message. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been, who's been listening Excuse to us me. since we started. Uh, we love every single one of you. And, you know, what What can I say? I mean, you guys have just been beautiful. And keep listening for us as we do our, our New Year's show. Or as we kind of done a New Year's. And just take care of yourselves tonight and try not to fight with your families too much. Yeah. Yeah. E Yes, and we love you guys. We don't want you to get hurt or get whatever, and you guys have fun doing whatever you're doing. And try to get your food bar this Christmas. That would yeah. be all kinds of stuff. No drinking and driving and no texting and driving. Yeah, no drinking and driving and no texting and driving. You heard it, too. Our mom, Jenny Lee, our, our mom, your mom, everybody's mom would agree, don't drink and drive and don't text and drive and eat lots of yummy, delicious food. And, and remember, Santa Claus is watching you. Yeah. And no matter what you celebrate, if it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, I just want everybody to know that Santa Claus comes in all shapes, colors, and sizes. And he's not just a white man or a black man or whatever. If you're Chinese, he's Chinese. If you're Hispanic, he's Hispanic. I just want everyone to know that because... It was, it was a subject that was brought up last year, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I think he's whatever whatever you want him to be, that's who he is. So, yeah, yep. Yeah, Feliz Navidad to my Spanish friends. Uh, to my Spanish friends, I say fuck you because you can learn how to speak English. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that was me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lord have mercy. Be with all the starving pygmies down there in New Guinea. And um, thank you to Larry the Cable Guy for letting me steal that. But anti wizzles. So I think it's time to go now. And we will see you later. And we will be with you guys for New Year's. So you guys have a safe and Merry Christmas. And just know that we love you. And every and these are our first little baby steps into the 
the new year and new things for me and Deke and, and there's Jenny always and a brand new day on the horizon. There's always a brand new day and things are going to get better and we just want you to know that we love you. So <laughs> Okay, we love you guys. Good night. We We're love y'all. Good night. Now. Good night. Don't forget to um, check the NORAD Santa tracker to see where Santa is in your neighborhood. Um, I think it's already started. You can Google NORAD. Or if you have AT&T U-verse, they have a Santa tracker on AT&T U-verse. Yeah. So, goodbye now, and this is really goodbye, so we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.